IHGN Studios. It's Braves Beat. Hello, Braves, and welcome to this week's episode of Braves Beat. I'm Gino Cardozzi. And I'm Isaac Atchison. So, Gino, you ready for the school year to be over? We've got one more day. God, yes. I've waited for this day for four long years. All right. Well, we've got a lot of news to cover, so let's get started. Administration has made a new decision regarding vehicles in the parking lot. Students will no longer be allowed to go to their vehicles to retrieve items during the school day. We hope this policy returns next year. The wait is over. Promise tomorrow. Make sure you have your tickets and outfits ready. The dance starts at 7.30 at the Hilton Hall of Mirrors and will conclude at 9 o'clock. After prom will start immediately following and will conclude at 1 p.m. Our district treasurer and CFO, Mick Davis, earned the Ohio Auditor of State Award for 2024. This award is presented to public entities who go through rigorous reporting requirements during the state's annual financial audit. Congratulations to Mr. Davis. Seniors, this is a reminder to keep checking your emails. There are a lot of important dates coming up, so be aware. Also, make sure to submit your senior photos if you have not yet done so. Let's head it over to Aiden. Hello, I'm your host. Christopher Aiden Walton, uh, and your only host, but boys lacrosse had a terrific win over Lebanon High School on May 10th. I love home games. Fun fact, it was senior night. The boys tennis advanced to state against the Stingers with a score of 3-1. to one. Shout out Snuka. Speaking of shout outs, I bet the baseball fans are screaming out right now after going back to back in the CHLs. Whew. Hopefully we do amazing at state. Softball ended rough after two losses in a row after being swept out the tournament. But it doesn't matter because they should have motivation for next year. Let's not forget the Finneytown beatdown that happened in uh, April. Back to the news desk. There you go, Gino. Thanks for that report, Ed. Here's Mr. Johnson's two words for the week. What's up, Raves? Here are your two words for the week. Talent versus character. It's important to remember that we all have unique talents that we can share with the world, but being talented alone, it's not going to build your character. Whether you're a superstar athlete, an amazing dancer, or a singer, or actor, or you might even have a unique talent like being able to solve a Rubik's Cube really quickly, or being able to take care of your siblings. Whatever the talent is, no matter what, you have to remember that leaders take care of themselves and better themselves with the goal of helping other people. Having a talent that you never share with anybody else, that's not a talent. It's simply a secret. The things that you're really good at, you should be trying to share those things with other people daily. The goals that are most valuable and have the longest lasting effects are the ones that allow you to use your talents to serve other people and make the world around you even better. And the great news about this is you don't have to be the best. You don't have to be number one. You just have to care enough to care and see the importance and the value in wanting to change other people's lives. When you do that, you create a goal that allows you to serve more people and in turn, you become more successful. Leaders, never forget, when you help to change someone's life, even in the smallest of ways, you're achieving the greatest success of all and that helps to build our character. Leaders keep their goals, their hopes, and their dreams in their heart, but they keep people first and that is what builds a leader. Go Braves. Thanks, Mr. Johnson, for those words of wisdom. All right, Braves, that's all the news we have for this week. Be sure to follow us on X and Instagram, subscribe to us on YouTube, and email us with any school updates. And remember, stay, stay classy and in health. Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the locker room. Today, I got the 2024 Indian Hill Braves seniors. We'll start them this way. Introduce um, yourself. I'm CJ Hayden. I'm John Potagill. I'm Jalen Williams. I'm Madden Phelps. I'm Noah Frazier. I'm Eli Riggs. I'm Chase Lanham. We got our barber, Fanon, and we got Mr. Bayless over there, and we just chilling, just conversating. Let's jump right into it. CJ, I asked you too, like, what was it like coming back from that injury, being away from your guys? You know, can you touch on that just a little bit more, man? Like emotionally, what was you going through? Yeah, it, it was hard because, like, before I was just I was an athlete, and that that was my whole life. Just come in there, come work. But how uh, do you live up to those expectations that were brought by your sisters, man? Like, I mean, that's crazy. Like, they they big time athletes, man. What was that like growing up um, and living up to that bar? I'm actually super grateful for it. Um, it taught me a lot because um, you could see the amount of work that they put in. And uh, Jay Will, talk to us about coming over from Northwest, that transition over from that school to Indian Hill, and then, you know, finding your footing and taking off and, you know, you going to Mount St. Joe's. 
to us yeah. a little bit about that. So coming from Northwest is definitely a different and way, like I would say culture shock, but the way people are here, like everyone sets themselves to a higher standard. Uh, it's like a, definitely a better school, I would say, academically and athletically as well. So. I think that Indian Hill and Denison and, and Seven Hills where I have spent most of my life are all very similar schools so I think that when it comes to being in the Denison environment it won't be that much of a change but go into your decision process of choosing DePaul playing football for those guys uh, growing up I always really loved basketball a lot more than football and then once I got to high school I kind of fell in love with football and then I always just wanted to play at the next level. Like I didn't really care like what division. Like I just wanted to play, and so I really thought that they had the best balance of like good athletic program and also good academics. So just... to pursue his football career and academic career, are you ready for the big boys? I mean, I, it's it's. I would say I'm preparing myself as best that I can. Um, you know, they they sent me a um, a training guide, so I'm following that. Like it like it's very strictly um, yeah, trying so to get as much sleep as I can. For most of my high school career, I wanted to play in college, but then after my junior year, like I had a bad injury, and then after my senior year, I had to get surgery, and uh, so like all Well, folks, there you have it. The locker room, we in here with the 2024 Indian Hill Brave Seniors, and until next time, we'll see you.